All right, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft on Creative. We, in the last episode, we left off with the um, tiger exhibit, and now we're gonna do. Sorry for the background noise; my neighbor's dog is barking. We're gonna do the Amor Leopard exhibit. I already have these two massive tiger trees. I also named all the animal zoo properties so they wouldn't despawn because I was working on marking off all of these exhibits. This is going to be the peacock exhibit, the toucan, and the cardinal. And they're all going to be, this is going to be an aviary. These are the monkey, the lemur, elephants, red river hogs, and hippos camels and then over here is something special this is gonna be the aquarium you walk in through here and there's gonna be a bunch of fish tanks it's gonna look super cool also these are a clown fish I added this little water feature with clownfish in it. And then there's this one here and there. And then it's on the outside. Okay, so yeah, anyways, let's get on with today's exhibit. The Amor Leopard. I'm gonna get more Podzol, Corster, and other things that I'll need for the exhibit. Podzol. I can't find Podzol. Maybe I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Mud. Clay. Oh, oh, that was a Oh, you know what? Put that down. Yeah, I want to turn that down. There. Uh, sorry if you couldn't hear me. We're doing the Amor Leopard exhibit. Uh, I forgot to turn the sound down. Whenever I'm not recording, I always have the sound up a lot more so I can hear the uh, sounds of the game because it's just like hearing the sounds of the game a lot better. And it's really hard to hear when I have the sound on so I can turn it really far down. Whenever I'm recording, yeah, these go to the void because it's flat world. It's super short. It's only three blocks down. Also, I like these little roots. I think they look cool down here. All right, I'm gonna continue with building the exhibit. Mud and clay is for the river or the little pond. It's not really a river. Is that? Podzel. It is Podzel. All that's going to have to go because this is going to be a pond. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. I kept thinking I'm going to post that video today. I'm going to post this video today and then I just decide... I'll post it tomorrow, and I keep doing that for like a week, and then I'm like, okay, I really have to post that video. Really gonna make this video. And it's always like that. At first, I thought a YouTube channel would be fun and stuff, but then I'm like, Maybe I should have had second. I have second thoughts on making a YouTube channel. But it is kind of fun making a YouTube channel. And making videos and stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of possible here. Of course, there. Podzel. 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 This is meant to look more like a a uh, redwood forest rather than a jungle 
like the last one, like the tiger exhibit. I need to clear out some more space because I'm running out of space. I'll have to do that after this video. I posted a video about uh, colorful fish, my goldfish, and there were a bunch of little plants in there that I had to move to my outdoor turtle tank um, because I have a turtle outside. He's still outside because he's hibernating there, and he's just fine. I've checked on him today, and he's really active. He's super cute, and he's a good little turtle. But my goldfish kept eating all the plants, so I had to move every single plant out of the tank to my turtle tank. It's a little bit cold, but I should be fine. It's a little bit cold for the plants, but the plants will be just fine. There's not enough grass in here. I'm gonna grassify this. Just a little bit. Because I hate all this constant podzol and no greenery. Podzol and coarse dirt without any source of green. This is supposed to be a redwood forest, not a dead grass and dirt for Or dirt, pods will dirt forest. And that should be enough grass. I'm going to go back and add more hanging roots since I probably destroyed. Yep, I think I may have destroyed one or two. And now I'm going to add a bunch of grass. No flowers, just grass. Just grass and ferns. Since that's what spawn... That's what plants are in the taiga biome in case you didn't know that move your head <clears throat> just waiting for the leopards bunch of parrots kept uh, flying towards me because the tigers would push them in the water and then they would teleport to me since all the parrots were tamed. <clears throat> Oops. All right, time to see what this looks like from outside. Well, that looks good. I like it. I feel like I need more trees. I think I need one dark oak tree in the center. Or maybe another giant redwood. Oh, there's no more space. 
without this one butting up against that one. Or that one. So I guess that's all that's going to be in this exhibit. Plus the leopards. I'm just going to add one since they're solitary animals. The tigers are solitary animals, but because this exhibit is so large, I felt like I should just, I could just add two. And I wanted to have a white tiger and a regular tiger, an orange tiger, without having to make two separate exhibits. So yeah, this exhibit is not that big. It's definitely not that big, so that's why I'm only going to have one leopard. The elephant exhibit's also not that big, but it's definitely big enough for two, for the two elephants I, I plan on having. There. Tiger named in the exhibit. And that'll be it for today's episode, Building a Zoo in Minecraft on Creative. I'll see you in the next episode, and bye!